I am doing a night hike off into the woods. Temperature is about 9 degrees Fahrenheit. I think with the wind chill, it's probably like negative 3 or something like that. It's always fun going off into the woods because you see a lot of things you don't see on the actual human trails, uh, such as some of the wildlife and the wildlife tracks, as you see right here. I am seeing wildlife tracks all over. This snow is fairly fresh. Um, it actually started uh, the night before last, during the night. So it's about 24 hours old. So these tracks are within the last 24 hours. Even with the cold weather, the animals still are out and about. You don't see them as often as you would if it was warmer or like you would have in the summertime, but they're still out here. See the moon up there? So the moon does shine down here. It gets a little bit of light to the woods. Sometimes the moon and the stars can help you navigate through the woods, but you got to keep in mind <laughs> it's not going to be in the same position all night long. This is what it looks like with my red light. You can see a little bit with the camera. And then this is my blue light. I scan around because not only am I looking to see if there's anything out here moving about, but I'm also scanning to look for the possible path of travel. Um, find the easiest way through the woods without dropping brush and so forth. Plus, I just like to see what's out, what's out there. There have been times when I've come across brush that's so thick that and it's pretty large where sometimes I can get around it and sometimes I just have to uh, push right through it. And for those of you who are out here hiking, you know that uh, going through brush sort of takes the fun out of the hike because you're focusing now on just getting through all that stuff. And it's even worse if it's uh, got thorns on it. A lot of fallen trees out here. I actually like walking through woods that have fallen trees. It just looks more, I don't know, I just, I just like the looks of it. Plus, uh, they provide a lot of habitat for some animals too. And believe it or not, as it's cold as it, as it is out here, I've actually seen a few squirrels moving about. Not really seeing too much up in the trees right now. Like I said, I am seeing a lot of animal tracks. I would imagine most of these animal tracks are probably from earlier today versus not much movement here after nightfall.
Now you have to admit, it's actually beautiful out here. You see, this is, it's so different than walking trails. Nothing against trails. I like them. But I like coming out here also. Hiking through the woods does take a little longer because you got to watch your step. Especially in the snow, you can't always see what you got to step on, what's beneath the snow. This is a good sized tree right here. This makes you wonder how many years this tree has been here. I mean, yes, you can count the rings on them, but that tree's probably been there for a few hundred years at least. This area here is a little thicker, a little bit more brush, but it's still passable, I can still get through. There's a little stream off to my left, which I'm going to head over to here in a few minutes. Again, all kinds of animal tracks down through here. stream right here. Got a hill right on the other side. Look at all the tracks down on the ice. The animals have been busy down there. You see a little bit of water right there. Maybe thick enough for the animals, but I would not walk on it. It's not very deep, but <laughs> definitely going to go through that ice. You see, you actually see it moving here. Which again, I'm going to show you, it's not very thick. It's not going to hold the weight of a human. Looks like there's a, another little stream that 
empties into this one. Tell you if you've never hiked at night, you know you should give it a try. If you're, if you're nervous about doing it, you know you can always invite somebody to go with you. But um, if you've never done it, you don't know what you're missing because it's really fun. You can start off small and just hike some trails. And if you've never hiked off trail, just through the woods, you should try that. You can do that during the daytime. Get yourself a little familiar with it. Again, I just scan around looking for the best way to get through. These vines here are pretty cool. One thing I hear a lot out here is the trees creaking from the wind as the wind's blowing. It's just interesting sound. I'll show you what it looks like in the dark again. Actually, it doesn't look as dark as it looks on the camera because the moon, of course, is giving off some light. And then with the snow on the ground, it actually makes it lighter in here. So I'm able to actually hike without the light. And as I've said before, if I'm not filming, I'm usually in the dark anyway. Light tends to scare away the animals. Plus, Actually, with the light off, though I can't see eyes glowing at me, but with the light off, sometimes I can see movement a little bit easier. And it's just more peaceful. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I'm actually climbing a hill right now. I want to get to the top of this hill. Probably about 50 foot, 75 feet up, I don't know. the top. Down there is where we were just at. And as I walk along this ridge, I gotta be careful so I don't end up back down there. This 
is a nice size tree here that fell. Have you ever been in the woods and heard a tree fall? I have a few times and it's a really spectacular sight to see. I've heard them a few times but I've only actually seen it happen once and um, I mean I know you see trees all over but uh, it's a rare thing to actually be at the right spot at the right time and see a tree fall but if you ever have that chance uh, it's, it, like I say it's a spectacular sight to catch Still walking along the ridge. Just to the left of me is the drop going back down to the bottom. The stream we were at is down there. I hope you enjoyed this, and like I say, if you ever get a chance, take a night hike. Find out that it's really fun and, and there's nothing out there that's going to get you.